At Boston's Fenway Park, the New York Jets collide with the Patriots. Meeting for the first time this season, the Jets are on a two-game winning streak, while the Patriots trail the Eastern Division with only one victory. Early in the first period, the red-shirted Patriots try to put something together. J.D. Garrett takes the handoff and loses the ball. Wahoo McDaniel latches onto it and is brought down one yard short of the goal line. The Jets capitalize in a hurry as Matt Snell dives in for the score. The New York Jets plow to the front, 7-0. Boston tries again. Quarterback Babe Pirelli drops back to pass, but gets very little protection. Jerry Philbin spins Pirelli around, and he fumbles. There's a scramble for the ball, and New York's Verlin Biggs finally wins out. The Boston defense rises to the occasion, forcing Jim Turner to boot a 16-yard field goal. New York ups the count to 10 nothing. Boston's problems continue following the kickoff. Ron Burton fumbles the pigskin away for the third straight time. Joe Namath at the jet controls has all the time in the world to launch a 22-yard touchdown bomb to Don Maynard. New York takes a 17-0 lead as the first quarter ends. In the second quarter, a stunned Boston team tries to get rolling. Pirelli passes over the head of Gino Capaletti, but interference is called and the Patriots move into jet territory. Drive stalls at the 23, forcing Boston to settle for a field goal. Patriots now trail by 17-3. Jets come right back. Joe Namath throws a strike to Don Maynard and the New York flanker takes off. Maynard picks up 44 yards as the Jets threaten. From the Boston 37, Namath is chased but rolls right and fires downfield. Don Maynard grabs hold and races in for his second touchdown of the game. The Jets pile it on at 24-3. Babe Pirelli won't let the Patriots give up. Babe uncorks a 12-yard completion to Jim Whalen. Pirelli stays with the aerial game. He explodes the bullet to Jim Coltaw for 11 more. From the New York 34, Pirelli looks to throw again. He spies Coltaw in the open and hits the sure-handed split end for a 27-yard connection. Seven yards from Pater at the Boston aerial artist caps a 63-yard march by threading the needle at Gino Capaletti. The Patriots go on to score another touchdown before the quarter ends, and at halftime trail the New York Jets 24-17. In the third quarter, Joe Namath and the Jets are looking for more. The former Alabama All-America teams with D. Mackey for a 13-yard advance. Boston finally halts the drive, and Jim Turner gets the call. Turner's 19-yard field goal gives New York a 27-17 advantage. Following the field goal, Jim Turner kicks off for the Jets. Boston's Jay Cunningham grabs hold at the eighth and makes tracks up the middle. Cunningham finds daylight and speeds on his way to a 45-yard return before a host of white shirts bring him down. Trailing by 10 points, the Patriots have a chance to catch up. Pirelli's sideline pass to Jim Whalen is good for a first down. A few plays later, Pirelli makes another connection with Whalen for 15 more. You know, Capaletti kicks a 30-yard field goal, and Boston narrows the jet margin to 27-20. In the final period, the New Yorkers are probing for more points. Joe Namath obliges with a toss to George Sauer. The jet rookie breaks away for a 33-yard play. Boston forces another Jim Turner field goal. The 14 yarders on the mark for the final score of the game, giving the Jets a 30-20 victory. New York runs its winning streak to three with an eye to a loftier spot in the Eastern Division standings.